All right, through the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? Well, huge buzz for this fight, and round one is now underway. A clash of styles in some respects between a grappler and a 5 2 player type, but certainly the more well rounded fighter has no problem engaging in the game. No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. Really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Ooh, blocks the shot. So there's that takedown defense on full display yet again. It's held up for him. He does a fantastic job of squaring up his hips, getting his legs back, and understanding not to allow his opponent to get going on his takedown finish. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Oh, single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? So he catches the kick there and beautifully counters with the takedown. So a nice job turning that defense into some immediate offense. There. He did a great job of turning his defense into his offense, but you can see that he's done that time and time again. He drilled that exact action and it worked in this instance. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. So pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. I mean, how many can he take? I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this fight? He just needs to stay heavy. He's got to keep his weight down. He's got to be working, but not working recklessly because this is a position that you can escape. Make sure you secure your opponent, and make sure you secure your opponent. Land strikes that matter and end this fight. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Come on, come on, come on, let's go. Hey, scramble, get up. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. He's got the ground and pound going now.
20 seconds to go in round one. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Ground and pound strike is true. Right. Let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. Okay, ready? Round two. You ready? All Let's right, round two. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. He's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Over and over, he landed this big body kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Wow. Right hook to the head block. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. A little cut below that left eye. Oh, the difference in the strike was crazy. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? If try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here. to go in round two. exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. You gotta scramble. You gotta move. Move, 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 move. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> now he's a tight triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like he's getting in deep. A triangle, a triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, 
that's a good right hand. Arch, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Lands the ground and pound strike. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Ten minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. Here we go. It's crunch time. We're going to find out what you're made of here. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. That punch, no good. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Throwing that jab, no good. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. He loaded up there on that high kick. Let's go. Keep He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Lee gets caught with that punch. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here or not. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Now it's his mount. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. Just over two minutes to go in the round. All right, so there's the takedown game on display, all set up though by the means. It has to be set up. You cannot just take blind takedown attempts. You can't shoot. You gotta set your opponent up if you did that.
solid strike on the ground. Ground and pound strike there now. Come on, guys, keep it moving. Let's go. I mean, how many can he take? All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. 45 oh, seconds oh, remain in the round. Come on. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Good punch. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Right hand on point. 20 seconds left. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And that one certainly found the target. Man, that cut has really opened up. Nice punch to the head. Oh, nicely done defensively to avoid the double leg takedown there. Good job, guys. All right, no telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator <laughs> into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Takedown defense holds up. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Great punch, landing with so much power. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. You got to check these low leg kicks. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Stuff to take down, no problem. Yes, that you heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Nice head kick. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Look at the turnover in that kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. 
Two minutes remain in the round. Single collar tie now. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Quick level change. Oh, he see. went single. Rotate head outside. This dude's going for a ride. Oh. He flipped him over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> is getting worse. The cut man chomping at the bit to get in there. He'll have to wait for the break between rounds if we get there. Final minute now of round four. A minute to go in round four. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Let's go. Twenty seconds left. to go in round four. All right, north-south position. Now we'll see who transitions first. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our That's next right, round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, powerful double leg takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Both fighters back to their feet now. Out of range with that kick attempt. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Just unable to quite find that range. There's another power takedown there. He lands with the left. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Three minutes now to go in this one. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Back mount now. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear 
rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Yeah, notice he just took the body triangle, readjusted the lock, and now it looks like he's got it. Full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Landed the right hand there. Just out of range with that right hand. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Nice straight punch. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? All right, time to hit the Sunoco station. Both of these fighters are on empty. This looks like when I played video games as a seven-year-old. <laughs> but I didn't know nothing but butt mashing. You two guys have... Oh! Oh! The best strike he's thrown tonight! The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut lane. Oh, he might be out! Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Beautiful strike. Final seconds of this fight. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's comfortable. What a fight! All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 48-47, and 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon.